What's going on everybody? News 23 coming at you. Well, y'all should have known I was going to get another MMP when the new 2.0s came out. So, just doing a little video on it. Uh, I've had it for about a month and a half, I think, or whatnot. Went on here and uh, got the MMP 2.0, MMP 9, long slide with thumb safety. Uh, I'm a big advocate for thumb safety because I just started off with 1911s. My dad taught me how to shoot those so and um went ahead and got the flat dark earth model um comes with four back straps uh i think it's small medium medium large and large i just went on ahead and stuck with the um medium one on there it's pretty good uh the beaver tail i'm glad they docked that off um because it was one year i think it was like four or five years ago when i was doing drills of uh one-handed drills where when didn't go back in the battery i'll take the gun and popped in my chest and that beaver tail hit me in my chest and I've actually had a couple of bruises from doing that so uh, glad they knocked that off so that's a I like that uh, the magazine release you know it's ambidextrous you can switch it from side to side or whatnot the slide release or slide catch whatever you want to call it is reinforced with this little piece right here it's because people were complaining when they did the speed reloads and they're hitting it up in them in the magwell it was making the slide go back in the battery well you know the slide drops uh falls i'm sorry uh close what do you want to call it so they put that piece right there so you can't do a 45 bump anymore with that which i mean it doesn't really bother me now since i i, I reload with my thumb uh riding on the slide release um oh yeah the um safety safety is a little bit smaller too it's not as large it usually sticks out to about right there a little gap right there so it's a little bit smaller um, they also reinforce the dust cover with some extra steel in here which makes the frame more rigid um, what else did they do to this um, oh the, the stippling ah, this is this is awesome I mean it's really grippy you don't I'm not even gonna stipple this gun I might send it to agency arms to get the accelerator cuts right here and to stipple the parts right here uh, make it a little bit grippier I want to get it professionally done so uh, I haven't changed the sights on it so I'm gonna stick with the factory sights for now they also have a loaded chamber indicator which I cannot stand I don't know why they did that but um apex tactical has a um, I think it's called a chamber indicator deleter or something like that where it just it just fills in that gap right there so when you put around there it won't pop up um the trigger let's talk about the trigger and the gun is clear by the way but um the trigger is way nicer I mean the it, it's still a lot of take up on it but I mean it's a hell of a lot better than a factory trigger so I'll be sticking with this trigger for a while for, for now um I think that's about it I'm digging a, I'm digging a flat dark earth they actually have a flat dark earth color that somewhat matches the frame of the gun and in that gold color like they did on a VTAC which I thought was really stupid but um haven't really done anything to it except for uh, the company I work for uh, I work for Carolina Arms Group out of Mooresville North Carolina they one of the gunsmiths went on ahead and they crowned the barrel for me which I thought was pretty neat it's nice and flush with the slide gives it a little bit of character so but uh yeah I'll be running the shit out of this a lot now since I bought it and I've always been an MP guy so just a little video on it I'm probably going to get some videos up and uh post it up on here too so um just stay tuned on there oh no I'm gonna forget they also have a lanyard loop on the end of that forgot about that which is a nice touch but yeah man uh, I, I I highly recommend trying these things out like I said the trigger is still a little bit spongy but the trigger is hell of a lot better than the, the outgoing model so I mean can't do anything but give it a try excuse the pollen we uh, got all these damn trees around here and there's pollen on here so excuse the pollen but yeah man this is my gun my go-to gun now and i i ccw this gun a penis carry from uh <clears throat> let me see if i can drive it up 
from a Fierce Defender holster, which is pretty nice. 37 bucks shipped. Dude got it to me in about a couple of days. Real nice dude. So if uh, you're looking for a Penix holster, try Fierce, Fierce Defense holsters. Pretty nice. Uh, got any questions, just shoot me a message down below and I'll get back to you. Peace.